In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Cy Davis to construct a histogram. This is something that's really quite difficult to do in Microsoft Excel. Uh, unfortunately, you can add an add-on, but obviously you can't do that in stock or computers, and it's really kind of a pain. And Cy Davis is an open source free program that's available for everyone to use. And uh, so I recommend you go download it. There's a link on the ME288 website, or you can just Google it. Um, but this is what we call a clone of the software program Origin, which is a very powerful plotting and uh, statistical analysis software. So uh, what we want to do, we just want to create a histogram. Uh, so this is, in other words, univariate data analysis. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to Excel uh, and pull off the case weights that we've dealt with in other videos. And I'm going to copy it with Control C. Then I'm just going to come over here, and in the X column, that's important, I'm going to paste it. And we see that you know it pastes just like a spreadsheet, 71 points, as we expect. Now, what we can do is select that column of X data, and then go to Plot, Statistical Graphs, and Histogram. And it automatically does a histogram. It gives us this nice, meaningless... Uh, legend that we all ought to delete and it does a very poor job of adjusting the axes unfortunately so uh, we know that our minimum is around 192 and our maximum is around 199 and so we can scale our axes and we we see that, okay yeah that's not great uh, because of the scaling of the histogram so let's double click that histogram and we should be able to set some binning settings. In other words, uh, we can adjust the bins. So let's make the bin size uh, 0.5 grains, beginning at 192, ending at 199. That's why we have that overlap. Apply that, and now we can see our histogram distribution. Now, uh, if we wanted to go back and try a different size bin, we could say, okay, 0.75 and apply that obviously it's going to give us a cutoff uh, so as we grow the bins we're going to see different shapes emerge but uh, probably this is the the best one to look at here we see a very uh, kind of normalized distribution here and and that's that very easy to edit the title simply double click and we can say this is case weight again we are going to give it a unit and uh, the y-axis is the number of measurements on a histogram so um, it's just a count it's how many measurements are in this bin and uh, generally because we embed these things in uh, in a document we don't need a title because we're gonna give it a caption so for now uh, forget the title and there you've got a graphic. Now if I want to put this out to something like Microsoft Word or I want to print it off, Cy Davis is an open source program and it doesn't use printing so you need to save it as a graphic. So what we want to do is export the current graph and then we want to save it and we can save it as any one of these types of image files. Uh, a .png is pretty easy. You can open those up in Internet Explorer or in Word natively and so I'm going to save it on my desktop as histogram.png save it and it's saved and I can go print that off etc so very easy process uh, very powerful program